Well, hello everybody, it's Rose. And I have just completed the first one of my diamond paintings from the Humongous Peggy Buy Haul. And I decided to do the Butterfly Special Shapes diamond painting that I got. Uh, this one I got for free, shipping only. So, uh, like I just paid shipping, so um, I got a good deal on it. Anyway, I did it last night. It took me four and a half hours and I really, really enjoyed it. Now, what I said about the first crystal diamond painting that I ever did was that the hardest thing about it was that it's so sparkly that it's blinding and it actually hurts your, your eyes. And I would have to say the same thing about this one. Um, I was working on it. I had a fluorescent light over, over top, um, of me to you know like the work area and of course I had a um, light pad underneath and uh, the sparkle off of these gems was just incredible I'm gonna turn on the light on the camera and show you uh, some of this sparkle up close it's really really pretty like I, I enjoyed doing this four and a half hours work um, and there's quite a few gems, not as many as some of the other diamond paintings that uh, that I've ordered um, with special gems. But this was just a really nice, as I call it, snack. I had just finished, as much as I could anyway, the uh, stained glass flower that I had been working on from Huacan. Um, and that one was such an incredible nightmare that... Um, I want like I'm I'm looking forward to starting the Japanese princess again because I stopped working on it because I was not working on the hua can and so I thought I'm just I want to work on the princess so badly that I'm going to not allow myself to until I finish the hua can so I did but then it was really too late to start a session of working on the princess so I um so I decided I'd, I'd have a little snack diamond painting and I did this one and it was lovely. It was fun. These little tiny um, beads here, diamonds here, these special, special drills, they were little, they're so small. Oh my goodness. And they're actually harder to, to orient than, than the rhinestones. But there were quite a few colors. I mean, I'll show you the um, legend once again. Uh, there were 16 uh, like 16 different drills and they were really 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 nice there was just enough to keep me uh, interested and occupied and yet you know I never got frustrated anyway um, I really like this I think it's beautiful uh, not sure I'm gonna frame it maybe I will I might just hang it um, from time to time I am a little bit concerned because, oh, and I just noticed, uh, you probably can't see it because I've noticed that uh, canvases that have sparkles in the canvas, you can't actually get that glitter effect through the camera. But um, but this, this canvas has some sparkles right in the canvas. And I've already got hair here. And so the one thing that concerns me, as I was about to say, is that um, the glue does like the adhesive does extend a little oops gotta move that diamond uh, does extend a little bit beyond the actual diamonds themselves so you can see here how there's just a little bit extra and I've got the two cats and the dog and so I don't know how this thing will be protected from um, cat hair and dog hair but and just in any house, I mean, there's going to be dust, so I'm not quite sure how to get around that. So if any of you have ideas about how to, you're not getting the effect of the sparkle, which is really too bad because it's, it's really amazing. It, it's sparkly, like unbelievably sparkly. Um, anyway, if any of you have ideas about how to protect the adhesive, that's around the diamonds from uh, getting all gummed up with lint and dirt and dust and animal hair. 
I'd love to know what you do. Um, and I'm sure other viewers would as well. Oh, and I just noticed I'm missing, I, I still need to place a few of these little diamonds here. Okay, uh, I thought I'd gotten everything last night, but I'll take another look before I uh, completely call it finished. Um, but I'll, I'll show you how much is left of everything. The only uh, diamond that there was no extras of was this big red ruby at the bottom. There was only one of those because only one of them is needed. But for all the others, I have a lot of spares, like a lot of spares. Um, so I might use them to jazz up other diamond paintings, maybe that don't have, oops, I'm trying to get a focus here. Okay, um, that don't have, um, oops, oh, that's the one that I, I need to place those extra ones with. So I'll just set that aside. Uh, but yeah, I have lots and lots of extras. In some cases, I have more extras than I had to place. So some of them are just falling out of my hands. But um, but you get the sense. They didn't, uh, they weren't, like, look at how many extras there are of this one. That's the you know, primary color there. But there's as many, di there's more diamonds here than there are on the canvas. Um, and lots and lots of these clear rhinestones. So, um, yeah, I was, I was really, really super happy with this. I, uh, I enjoyed doing it and I would hunt up. Oh, see, it's sticky. <laughs> Bags are sticking to it. All right. So I'm going to have to, um, put the protective cover back on it and, uh, just tape it to the edge of the, um, tape it to the edge of the canvas. <coughs> excuse me, until I decide what to do with this thing. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. And, um, you know, for the shipping that I had to pay for it, I'm very satisfied with this diamond painting. So I just wanted to do this very quick post review. And thank you so much for your attention. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. If you need to, you know, let me know how you feel about this video, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And yes, I am definitely very interested in knowing how you would protect this canvas from uh, getting dirty. Okay, so thanks everybody. Bye-bye. I'll be back to you soon.